Happy Halloween, runners. It's uh, October 31st, 2017. Halloween night. Uh, well, it's actually November 1st at this time now, but recording this video kind of late. Um, I was out celebrating a birthday party for one of my coworkers who just went over the hill. So, obviously, obligations come first um, when you don't have your kids around. So, this video is to uh, answer the question of why I run. Um, I've been asked that a lot over the past few months considering my lifestyle and where I've came from. It's also pretty funny that I've been asked that question considering Runner's World magazines asked me to write an article that hopefully will be published in the next couple of months um, that you guys can all go and read. I'll kind of follow the same guidelines here that I'm talking about, uh, probably a little bit more in depth, edit it a little bit, I don't know. We'll see what the editors do once they finally get it. But um, Honestly, it's pretty simple. It was to impress a girl. JMP. I'll leave it at that. I won't uh, give her her name. Um, out of respect uh, for her. Um, but if she ever sees this video, she'll know um, what I'm talking about. Or she'll know that I'm talking about her. And people around me that are close to me will know that I'm talking about her because they already know. Um, I pay her respect on my bib. Not that it means anything anymore, but it's my own reminder of why I kill and challenge myself every time I go out to run and challenge myself at these races. So, yeah, I said it. I changed my life because of a woman. A lady's wet dream, as you would put it. Trying to change a man to be a better person. And any ladies out there who are trying to change my life, well, she beat you to it. Sorry, she was a runner, and all I wanted her to do was to uh, be on her level and enjoy the things that she enjoyed doing in her life. That's really what ultimately challenged me and inspired me to go be um, a better runner. She got me hooked on the sport uh, when I attended her first race, which was just a 10K back in uh, March of this year. Um, the atmosphere was awesome, the spectators were awesome, the volunteers were awesome, the venue was awesome, I mean it was just an, an exciting event and it was the first running event I ever went to, it's like going to your first NASCAR race or attending your first NASCAR race instead of watching it on TV, it's night and day difference, um, yeah people go left you know, around a racetrack over and over and over for 300 laps, it's boring. But once you actually get there and see the atmosphere of it, you're like, wow, this is totally different than I expected. That's how running is. And until you experience that, it could uh, change how you uh, view the sport. And that's what got me hooked. And when you want to be with someone that you really want to be with, you change your life to enjoy the challenges of their lives and enjoy the things you want to do, they do. And that's what I did. Um, however, you fast forward a few months later in my life, um, obviously we are not together anymore, and, but I didn't give up on that dream and that inspiration to challenge myself to go out there and continue doing what I do. So again, why do I continue running if my inspiration and drive is gone from her? Well, basically it was just a, what can I do? How, how can I beat myself up enough to challenge myself up or challenge myself enough to do the things when I was, you know, actively competing in sports like when I was in high school and in my younger 20s. Um, running is the next best thing, I guess. Um, I've always been a good runner. Uh, I never really ran past four miles my entire life leading up to it. Being in the military, I only had to do a mile and a half run. So I would do three miles just to know that I can actually run past a mile and a half and then some and convert that energy into a mile and a half uh, in order to pass a test. And I've always passed it. Um, sometimes the times were not just great, it's 12 minutes. My fastest time um, before I started actively competing was 9.57, was a mile and a half. I've since beat that. If I was to race run today, I would probably be eight minutes, even probably less, but not to toot my own horn again. But when you run all the time, you get better. That's that's the only way to get better at running is to run. Um, 
but you might be surprised that I started actually running and competing for races back in uh, June of this year. Um, at that time, I weighed about almost 200 pounds. Now I weigh about 150. Um, yeah, I lost 150 pounds in that time frame, considering it's October 31st of 2017, and I've lost 50 pounds. Um, yeah. It was pretty easy to do. Uh, all you had to do is change a couple of things in your lifestyles in order to make that happen. And one was to uh, let go of fast food. And I haven't had fast food since the first week of June. And that's because my girls were in town. But they love their McDonald's. Well, I had to go to McDonald's and get them their McDonald's. It is what it is. Um, but after they left, I didn't have any fast food since then. Still haven't. Never, ever again. Uh, I'll still go out to restaurants and stuff like that, but I will eat healthy in order to maintain the lifestyle that, or the food lifestyle that fits my needs in order to make myself better for a longer period. But yes, five months ago is actually when I started to run. You might think, how do I accomplish all this? I placed second in two 10K events, a third in another. I just finished a good life half sea marathon in Lincoln on Sunday. Uh, placing 117th out of 6,526 runners. Um, we lost, what I say, 50 pounds almost in five months. Yeah, just a healthy lifestyle. But what if I told you my healthy lifestyle also had an unhealthy lifestyle? Would you believe me? I don't think you would, because I did drink and I did smoke during that, li that uh, time period. Although I don't smoke anymore, um, my one vice is liquor. Sorry, I like to drink beer. I like my vodka. It is what it is. Um, yeah. It helps you get through the day sometimes. But all I'm trying to show you is that you can have a slightly unhealthy lifestyle and still achieve the goals that you're looking for, even though it might be a little bit more challenging. You just got to push yourself a little bit more in order to get there. Um, I know for a fact if I cut all those out, all my vices, I would probably achieve better results. Um, I don't judge though. Um, just because I've been there and done that. I mean, if you if you want vices, so be it. Um, you just got to make the sacrifices in order to make yourself better. And whatever that takes to do it, you got to do it. Um, so if you like to drink, drink. If you like to smoke, smoke. But just remember, you're going to have to push yourself a little bit harder in order to achieve those things you want to do. Another thing is, is I don't believe in fad diets. I know keto is the big thing going right now. I have a lot of friends and coworkers that do the keto diet. Um, I'm a firm believer in eating what you like to eat. As long as you work out and... You know, burn that excess crap off that you eat during the day. Um, as long as you cut out fast food and all that other health unhealthy bullshit that you eat during the day, you should be all right. Um, increasing your gym participation, and when I say participation, is actually going to the gym and actually working out instead of, instead of work sitting on a machine and playing with your phone and being an iPhone programmer or a Samsung programmer. You know, trying to find the right song on your thing in order to, for you to do 10 reps. You know, go to the gym, work out. You don't need a phone in order to work you out. I mean, I bring my phone, but it's to listen to music because I got to have my earpieces in and, and my phone close by in order to listen to music. I used to not be a firm believer in listening to music, but when you're in the gym for an hour and a half, it gets kind of boring watching other people work out and nothing to listen to. So music does help you help, um, or music does help you work out. Just don't sit there on the machine for 20 minutes trying to find the perfect song in order for you to do 10 reps. Because that shit is annoying. Next thing is, when you're at the gym participating, make sure you're using weights. Um, from some of the videos I watch on YouTube and from what I see from other people, and including myself, weight training does help. Um, especially with core. I tear my abs to pieces every time I'm in the gym. Seven days a week trying to get my core muscles up and ripped apart because I notice the difference when I run. When you have that stability in your core muscles when you're running, it makes a huge difference to increase your time. 
Um, I never thought that, but I want my abs to pop. So by summertime next year, hopefully I have a six pack, maybe an eight pack. I don't know. Don't care. As long as I don't have the fat surrounding it, um, I'll, I will be happy. Uh, uh, and running. Uh, so I'm kind of counterproductive when I do weight training and run. Um, a lot of my uh, weightlifting friends who do nothing but bulk and do nothing but and do no cardio laugh at me. And I laugh at myself because I lift heavy and then go run for an hour. It's like I know I'm counterproductive, but you know it is what it is. You know, so I lift heavy, run, kind of counter counterbalance the both. I don't know what's best yet. I mean, it's it's your body, it's my body. So whatever works for you, you know, do what works. Uh, but make sure you're working on muscle lifting weights to increase muscle mass and tone will definitely help you in the long run. It's definitely helped me in, in just the two weeks from a half marathon to this marathon. Uh, I noticed a huge difference considering I just seven minute PR in my last half marathon. So, you know, do what works best for you, but you gotta be in the gym putting in the effort, not sitting there playing on your phone. I know some of you out there have kids or single parents like me. Um, you're gonna have to make sacrifices uh, in June, when I started working out and started getting into my routine, I had my girls here in town. Um, I had to take them to the gym. Luckily enough, the gym I go to has a playground inside. Uh, they like going to the playground. They ask about it all the time. You just got to make sacrifices. So if it requires you take them to the gym or finding another place to go, do it. Um, there's no excuses why you can't go work out, go lift weights, or go run. Um, even if it's for a mile or two miles or three miles for whatever that day is you got to just put the effort through or put the effort through in order to get what you are looking for sacrifices will have to be made and I've made a lot of sacrifices in the last couple months in order to get where I'm at um, now that my girls are gone obviously I can spend a lot more time in the gym or outside doing things not so much now because it's like 25 degrees outside and it was snowing today so a lot of my time would be spent inside the gym, running on the treadmill, with time. I mean, time's on your side. Spend an hour on that treadmill just running at a leisurely pace. Go spend and 30 minutes to 45 minutes lifting weights. It can only help you. 30 minutes is better than zero minutes. You know, an hour is better than zero minutes. You know, do what works for you in order to get your goals. You gotta start off somewhere, right? That's what I did. Four miles used to hurt back in the day. I remember it. My toes used to blister. I hated life. I was breathing heavy, heavy, laboring through every exercise I went through. But after weeks, you know, four turned into five, five turned into six, six turned into seven, seven turned into eight. You know, just you got to build up. You know, once you get there, you'll you notice a huge difference. I never thought in one time in my life I would ever run any of the races I'm doing now, and I'm doing them with ease. A little sore, but ease. And I'm placing and I'm competing against some of the elite runners around the area I'm at and I'm happy about that. I'm never going to finish first in any of my races but if I can finish better than 98% of the field I'm obviously doing something right. Um, like I said I don't leave the best I don't live the best lifestyle that is out there but I still like to live life and have fun but also go out there and have a healthy lifestyle in the same boot. So um, that's my whole goal is in these videos is just to tell you that, yeah, you can still have fun and still go work out, but ultimately you have to push yourself beyond your comfort limit in order to make yourself a better person. And what are you ultimately trying to re do when you do these races just to finish or actually or compete against the peers around you? I mean, if your goal is just to finish, congratulations, you finished. But even if you finished last, I mean, you finished last. I can finish last. I can walk the entire race if I really wanted to, if that was my goal. But push yourself, push yourself, because that's what you want to do. Sorry if I look tired in this video. Um, it is now midnight, 1 November, new month, new day got work in the morning so but 
just want to say when I look back at photos of me before I am now, it kind of makes me sad of what I let myself become, even though I thought I was in shape, but I really wasn't. Um, if I knew how to embed pictures in this video, I would do that just to see how I looked. And maybe one day I'll learn that trick, but fuck it, I'm still learning how to make videos too, and not all too good at that. Um, but when I look back at those photos, I'm kind of disappointed in myself, because like I said, I thought I was in shape, but I really wasn't. Um, I was lying to myself just to make myself feel better, just because I could go out and run three miles and in a relatively good time and felt good about myself when I got back home, where I would take a shower, pour myself a drink, and scarf down a pizza or whatever my ex-wife used to make me, and I was like, that's good, I ran three miles to agony, wherever the fuck I went, but that wasn't the case. Um, you know, like I said, I thought I was in shape, but if you think of fat circles in shape, that I guess that's what I was, a fat circle. And when, every time I look at those pictures, that's what I, I, that's exactly what I see now. I mean, I haven't seen my abs in never, and I'm only starting to see them now at the age of 38. And it's pretty awesome to actually see the fruits of your labor when you actually put some time and effort behind everything. Um, I just wish I knew what I knew back then, but... It, Honestly, I just really didn't care. Um, I cared, but I didn't care. And maybe being married and having kids w w could be my my uh, my excuse, but it's not. I could have found time, or time in any part of the day, to go out and accomplish the things I needed to do. I just thought what I was doing was right because I passed my test, my PT test, every year for the Air Force, and that's all I needed to do. And when you look at yourself every day and that's what's what looks normal to you then so be it but now what I know now I look at myself now and look at pictures of what I saw back in the day I'm like yeah that doesn't work and when people see that they're like oh yeah you're a little chubby fuck and I was like shit really was I <laughs> that's sad but it's true I was and I can see it myself now but my quality of life has definitely changed since those days. Um, uh, I could tell you that I almost felt it basically a week after I changed my lifestyle, especially when you cut all that fast food bullshit out. Um, your body starts feeling it almost right away. You start getting that high from all the changes, especially from running. People say, what's this runner's high you keep talking about? And well, run for a long period of time and you will sense the euphoria you get after you run. Um, I think it's the nitrogen running through your blood that, you know, messes with your head, but it's it, it, it's there, trust me. Um, I felt it a couple times. Hell, you don't even want to eat after you're done because you're just too, too excited that you finished a long race and you accomplished something you've never done before. Maybe it's the chemical imbalance, I don't know, but it's there, trust me. Um, that's why I like running too. Maybe it's a cheap high, I couldn't tell you. But simple changes in your life will make a huge difference on um, how you feel and how you interpret yourself or perceive yourself once you start making those changes. But don't cheat. Uh, once you start cheating, you're going to feel bad. Trust me. Especially those people on those fad diets. Keto especially. Trust me, I work with like 10 people on the keto diet and they're always cheating and they hate themselves afterwards. Um... One of my motivations to do all this was to uh, live long enough to have my girls um, have a fit and healthy dad. There's nothing worse than growing, getting old and being fat and out of shape and having your, your kids look at you like you're just a piece of shit. That's the honest, best way I could put it. Um, I didn't want to be Frank from Shameless, um, for those that watch the show. They drink themselves into a stupor every day. I do like to drink, but that's definitely not the lifestyle I want to live or perceive on my girls. I've had that in my life. Um, I don't need it again, and I'm not going to apply that on theirs. They don't deserve that, and I don't deserve that. I don't deserve that to give that to them, sorry. Like I said, it's midnight, so just trying to get this video out so y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, you still gotta have your vices. 
it is what it is. But again, I still get I still get asked the same question and about the motivation and drive outside of my girls on the reasons why I run a JMP and all that other stuff. And being that I'm in the military, a part-time student, a single dad, etc., blah, 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 where do I find the time to do all this stuff? Sacrifice, right? It's all about sacrifice. If you have to go running at 8 o'clock at night, do it. If you have to go running at 9 o'clock at night, do it. Um, I'd rather run in the morning. Unfortunately, my time dictates that I have to run in the afternoon. But if the afternoon is the time I have to go time to run, I'm going to go do it. In the afternoon is the time I have to go lift weights. I'm going to go do it. Um, luckily for me, I have weights at work that I can go lift. If I don't have enough time to go do a weight lift, a weight workout, and a run workout at the gym, I'll just make sacrifices in order to make my time, you know, you know, fit everything in when I can. Uh, you know, it's just like I said, you got to just make sacrifices in order to make things work. One of the other drives and motivations was to just to do more. I mean, I'm not getting any younger, like I mentioned before. I want to be better than I want to. I want to be better every day than I was before the the last day. You know, obviously I'm going to have my down days and my cheat days and stuff like that. Which once you start having those days, you're going to feel like ass, um, especially today because today was one of my cheat days. So was yesterday. But, hell, I just got done running a half marathon on Sunday. I need to take a break, right? Everybody needs a break from the exercise days, but I'm going to be, I still worked out today, and I'm back in full swing of it tomorrow. Uh, me and the guys are doing our Wednesday trail day 5K run, or not 5K, 5-mile five run, um, in preparation for our, their 4-mile run and my half marathon slash 4-mile run two-day event coming up in the November, but uh, it sucks, but you got to push yourself. You can have your cheat days and cheat day, I should say, but make it uh, manageable so you don't feel like ass the next time you can go up and go run or work out, but you have to cheat. It's, we're humans, we cheat, so, and... But that's what helps us make us stronger and do better humans is knowing that you cheated on something and you know you did it and you're going to push yourself in order to overcome it. It is what it is. Do it all the time. I know I did it last night or today and last night and I'm going to make up for it for the next couple of days and two weeks leading up to my uh, trail run races. So again, it is what it is. Um, see here well since it's getting late um, this might be a part or two-part video in the future if not uh, I'll label it as such if it is I'll label it as such as well um, it is getting late and I probably should go to bed because I'm gonna have to be to work here in about six hours but on the video with me thanking all those who helped me in the last few months supporting me with uh, the many races I've been involved with allowing me to take time off and those who angered me enough to uh, challenge me to move um, on to other races and to challenge myself to overcome those obstacles that they thought I would never be able to accomplish. Um, so like JMP, thank you, Tab, Jason, Jeremy, my girls, my ex-wife, who never thought I would do anything and told me she thought I ran slow. Um, I, I thought I ran slow too, but, or actually I thought I ran fast, but she perceived me as running slow. Um, all the super athletes at every race I've ever attended, uh, thank you. You're all super athletes until I uh, run past you, then I become your super athlete. Um, thank you all for making me who I am. I will only get better and stronger. Uh, I'm just not going to be another face in the crowd. Um, I'm going to be a headline one day, and I hope you all are too. Hopefully I see you at one of these races, and you can tell me that, and maybe you can challenge me 
to the race we're at to see who finishes first, regardless of where we finish, who's ahead, who's behind, because I love that shit. I would definitely challenge you, regardless of your speed or age or whatever. If you see me at a race here in Omaha or the greater Omaha area, don't be afraid to come up and challenge me, because that's the shit I strive on, and it'll be fun. Uh, if you beat me, I got I got the beer. If I beat you, you're buying. <laughs> um, anyways, be sure to like, subscribe, uh, follow, share, whatever that bullshit is people say in the, in the videos. If you have any questions, um, feel free to message me. I'm sorry I'm a little bit tired tonight. It's been a long day. Um, I'll answer as soon as possible when I get around to it. Good night, and don't give up on your goals. Um, I challenge you guys all the time. Um, yeah, just keep the faith and keep you get your ass out there and do what you need to do. Do what feels comfortable for you. All right, y'all. Good night.